Hey everyone, what's up? Ryan Knows Tech from TechCores.com. In today's request video, I'll, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Requests can be sent to Ryan at TechCores.com. Today's request video is regarding Activity Monitor on your Mac. Now, on your PC, I think we are, are all familiar at this point with Windows Task Manager. This is where you can get in, see how much memory you're using, force quit applications or, or end, the, end the process, see everything that's running, really just kind of a control panel um, to see your uh, computer. So on your Mac, it's not called Task Manager anymore. It's called uh, Activity Monitor. So if you hit Command Space or go up to Spotlight, start typing in Activity Monitor, it should show up there. Go ahead and launch that. And you're going to see it's uh, really quite familiar to uh, Task Manager on a Mac. You've got all these categories down here at the bottom uh, that you can look at and get some graphs and whatnot. And then here you've got all your, uh, your processes that are running. Your PID, process name, user, your percent CPU that it's using, threads, real-time memory, the kind of architecture it is. Uh, on a Mac you've got Intel and Intel 64 for the bit type. And then your CPU time. I believe you can uh, edit and put some more stuff in here, but uh, this is really the stuff that I feel is remotely necessary. Now, uh, you click on this and it'll organize it by the least or to most um, of your CPU and everything like that. The biggest thing right now is my screen recording software. It's taking up about 25% uh, at most, about 20% average of my CPU. Um, so there's all your, your uh, tasks. If you click on one, for example, uh, iTunes, you can, do, you can do a sample process, which takes a little bit of time. You can inspect, get some more information here. Page in, page out, Unix system calls. Um, look at the memory statistics. It's only using 49.3 uh, meg. Um, then you can quit the process from here, which is really like a force quit of the application. I recommend just opening it, going to iTunes, and then quit because it's you know less, uh, I suppose, uh, forceful than doing a force quit. But everything's here. It uh, organizes by whatever you like. As I said, the biggest memory uh, hog here is 140 meg. It's my kernel task user root. So down at the bottom then, we've got our CPU information. It tells me uh, percent user, percent system, percent idle. I get the number of processes I currently have running and then the number of threads. Also, if you click, double click on this graph here, you, you will get a larger graph that displays uh, both cores of the processor. If you have four, or uh, two processors, I think you'll just get two of those. But uh, the red is the kernel, is the system percent, and then the green is the user percent. You go to system memory. I think I have posted this to TwitPick a couple of times. It tells you your free memory, wired, active, inactive, and used. Obviously, your used, uh, used memory is, uh, well, I don't know. Let's see. What's in use right now? What is the, what the operating system and the programs are currently using? That happens to be 1.66 gig. Green is your free memory. I've got 2.34 gig available on, a, on this 4 gig machine. Wired is 758. You know, doesn't much matter to you guys. Get the graph here, your uh, VM size, page in, page outs, and then uh, how much swap you've, you've used. Your disk activity is just going to show you uh, how hard your hard drive is working to read or write information. The graph, uh, you get data read is green, data written is, uh, is red. <clears throat> you can switch the graph to input output or simply data. Um, you get all the reads and writes in and out, which is nice per second. Disk usage, you get a little graph there, shows you your partitions. Uh, you can choose your partition here between my bootcamp disk and the, the Macintosh HD disk. Space utilized, space free, and then you get a little graph. Uh, so over 50% of mine is free. And then you get some network specifications here. Packets in and out, in and out per second. Data received, data sent, and then a little graph. I'm not doing much online right now, so zero bytes per hour. Now we're 892 bytes per second, probably just updated the time or something simple. So uh, I really think that this is a nice, nice, uh, simple activity monitor. May not be as advanced as, uh, or as powerful, I might say, as uh, Task Manager, but it definitely does the same things that you need to do, you know, maybe on a weekly basis. Maybe an application stops responding and you need to do that. Uh, another key that you might want to use, Command Option Escape on your keyboard opens the Force Quit window. So I can Force Quit Activity Monitor by selecting that program, doing Force Quit, and then... Uh, verifying that I will lose save changes, and now it's gone. So Activity Monitor, okay program, definitely, definitely recommend using it for its purposes. I believe there are third-party applications to do the same thing. My question is why, why would you need that? Activity Monitor does a very uh, user-friendly and very easy uh, to use job of uh, doing those tasks. 
So thanks for watching this video. Uh, please leave your comments below. I'll try to get back to those as soon as possible. Our website is techcourse.com. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then every Tuesday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on stickum.com slash techcourse. We host our live web shows. I look forward to seeing everyone there or in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye-bye.